something important I wanted to talk to you about, Grandad. Aye, aye, that's it. <laughs> I must say, there is something rather freeing about it. Aye, aye, Bella boy. Is that me or my granddad you're referring to? You, and only you and me and a, and a double chocolate fondue. Mary. Oh, oh, sorry, Kenneth. Maybe 13 years ago, tenor to push, but with regret, not now. Come on, ladies. Aye, aye. Have a good night. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry, you were saying. Oh, I was just taking a little break. Don't you think you should too? No way. It's Mum's night out. Oh, I've heard about those. Have you got your wet wipes, portable water filter, and 48 hours of non-perishable foods? Am I egg? Don't worry, Mary. I'll look after you. Oh, wonderful, lovely Emma. My, how you've blossomed. So pure a soul, you know. It almost crushes me to think you're betrothed to a man who's gonna... who's gonna love your pure heart and then break it. No. No tears. Come on, Mary, I'll get you a breakfast. <laughs> she knows me so well. <laughs> I need a drink. You all right? Yeah. I think now's the perfect time to tell you I got you something. Check your emails. A star named after me and Curtis. Yep. Yeah. So then you can look up to the sky and remember it. You know, when, well, it's not here anymore. Emma? Oh. Oh, please, we... I never meant to make you upset. No, it's OK. It's a gorgeous idea. I love it. Should we have back to the party? I'm going to call it a night, but you go back. There is no way I'm leaving you here on your own. Should I call Curtis or Dad? No, no. You're worrying me. I'm sorry. No, you can tell me anything. Thanks. Is it Curtis? Have the doctor said something? No, it's nothing like that. Right? I don't even know where to start. With? I thought I could keep pretending, but I can't. Emma? Curtis is... He's not dying. He's been lying this whole time. Is there even one man on this planet that isn't a lying scumbag? You just wait till I get hold of him. He'll have wished he to drop dead. You can't do anything. He has a medical condition. No, he doesn't. He's just a man. Unfortunately, there isn't a cure for that. You don't understand. He's seen a psychologist. He's got fictitious disorder. Like, he makes up health conditions and he can't stop, so he is ill. It's just not the heart thing. There is a special place in hell reserved for people who fake being terminal. It is disgusting. It's like saying that you've got cancer and you haven't. So this isn't your fault. Look, his psychologist said it won't be easy, but it's a good thing he's turning up. You've been to the hospital with him. How long have you known? Look, I'm trying to get him better. Like, once the wedding is out of the way, maybe he can increase the amount of sessions that he has. A wedding? Why on earth would you still want to marry him? I love him. Then why are you crying? After all the lies he's told, he might not even be called Curtis. He could be Colin from Stoke for all you know. He only lies about health-related things. Oh, well, that's fine then. Brilliant foundation for a marriage. I said I'd help him, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, good luck doing that when everyone else finds out. But they can't. Not yet. But please, for me, can you keep this secret? Well, yeah, the hand wash is nice. No, about keeping it secret. I just don't understand. What's going to happen when he doesn't die? Everyone should be happy that he'll survive, but they won't be because it's all a lie. Look, he's finally getting the help that he needs, and we will tell everyone after the wedding. Walk away, Emma. He doesn't deserve you. His childhood really messed him up. It's not his fault. He needs me. No, he doesn't. He's a doctor. He can heal himself. Oh, wait, no. That was a lie as well. Please. It's what I want. I want to marry him and I want to help him. OK, fine. I won't tell anyone. I'll leave that up to you.